You're watching the SRT God Channel. It's your boy, the SRT God. I'm back on your screen with another one, man. Today is breakfast. They had a breakfast. Got some eggs, Ezekiel muffin with some peanut butter on it. About to do some legs. Man, um, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has been subscribing to the YouTube channel. I truly appreciate it. And for everybody that has been reaching out about my Hellcat. Um, I already told you guys in the video why I did it, why I sold it. It was all business moves. Whether you believe it or not, that's your problem. I don't give a shit what you think. So, with that being said, the hell, uh, the TRX is still on order. We're still out. I have not heard anything back on that yet. Uh, they said about 20 weeks it'll be here. So, you know, it is what it is with the chips and stuff being not able to get to where they need to be. It is what it is. And it's gonna be a 2022, not a 2021. Like some people are like, well, why didn't you wait for the 2022s? It is a 2022. So it is not a 2021. Anything after November like 7th or something like that, they said it was a 2022. So that's what it is. That's what my agreement is. That's what all my shit is that says is a 2022. That's what it is. So with that being said, I'm gonna eat some eggs. I'm gonna have some of these Ezekiel muffins. Um, I'm just trying to do a little bit of a cut just because uh, winter's coming, so I know I'm backwards as hell, but I like to look better in the winter than I do the summer because I have more fun in the summer. Winter time, I'm trying to just chill out, get back to where I need to be with my body look and everything else. So with that, let's get this food in. Let's get to the gym. And I think we're going to take the slingshot today. So it's chilly, but we're still going to take it. I still have it. For some of y'all that say, oh, you don't have the slingshot no more. No, I still have it. Um, <laughs> It is here, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, because I'm going broke. I mean, that's- I'm, I'm driving it I'm going, sometimes. I'm going broke, so I, I'm trying to sell everything I have. I'm gonna be living in a cardboard box by the time I do this next video. Um, yeah, so I went and bought a $95,000 truck, but I'm going broke, so it is what it is. But anyways, guys, let's get to the gym and um, get these legs worked out. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first try this hyphy mud and the amino acid from Cali Muscle Hyphy Mud and Hyphy Life. Um, just so you guys see it, this is the first time I've tried this shit. I've never tried it before. Um, this was from the package. So I wanna give you guys a true, honest fucking opinion. Again, I'm gonna use tap water because I can't afford that Fuji water type that he uses. Um, so I gotta do the, the just the tap water because that's all I can afford. So. I have to use that, so it might taste a little bit better with that Fuji, but I, I, I doubt it, man. I got, I got a tap water thing that I'm gonna use, you know what I'm saying? But, um, so I'm gonna do a full scoop of this into the, into, the cat, into the mixer, and I'm gonna take the amino acid and do the same thing. Why? Why do I use the amino acid? Some people are gonna ask that question. Why? Because it's a recovery. And I use that during my pre-workout drink. So it kicks in as I'm working out as well. Um, some people drink this throughout the day. Some people just drink it um, as, as needed. You know what I'm saying? It's a couple times a day, whatever. Um, normally I use it for my, my pre-workout um, drink just because then it, it's hit me as I'm working out too. So. Um, it's kind of a preference thing. I, honestly, I don't think it's really the, the uh, exact science to when you should drink it because I've seen people that have coaches that have told them to drink it in the morning, drink it after their workout. I've seen people say drink it throughout the day. I've, you know, so it's all over the board. But here's another scoop, just so y'all can see another scoop of that. So now I have that is all mixed in there. I'm gonna get some ice cubes. See, that's one thing y'all don't see is I mix my shit with ice cubes, all right? So I'll throw some ice cubes in there. Just a few to make it nice and chill. Throw some tap water in there. I usually go anywhere from eight to 12 ounces of water. Um, as you guys can see, that's what most people, if you if you read the directions, most, most of them say 12 to eight ounces of water, um, eight to 12. The, the, the less water you use though, the more potent it's gonna be, guys. So 
again, I've never used this stuff, so I'm gonna just you know chill back a little bit and fucking see what it is. Because when you use something different, it hits your body different. You know, some people are like, oh, pre-workout's the same shit. Not always, man. I'm, I'm gonna be truthfully honest with you guys. It's not always the same. Shake that shit up real quick. And then don't be jealous when I drink this shit. Man. Don't mind the necklace either, man. I finally got my fucking Cuban. Yeah, that's different, man. I like it, though. Definitely tasted great, though. Definitely tasted great. It's a tropical rush, man. It's good. It's actually good, man. It's super good. So, that's my review of that. Um, super sweet, super, super simple. When it comes to pre-workout stuff, man, it, honestly, it boils down to what you guys like. But um, I like this stuff, man. It's good. So, we're going to see how I feel during the workout and go from there. Make sure you guys check out hyphylife.com. Yeah, I'm promoting them. Yeah, I'm promoting them. I'm going wild. I'm going wild. I'm even wearing the shirt, man. I'm going wild. I'm going crazy. And don't be jealous. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how to do the hamstring curls. As you guys can tell, her knee is on the pad. A lot of gyms don't have this, this one, but I just wanted to show you guys something different. Obviously, there's a better booty on here than me. So let's roll. Let's get it. So she's going to come up, curl, and squeeze at the top. And what it's going to do is it's going to work this hamstring here. It is going to get the glute a little bit as well, but you're mostly focused on the hamstring. She's coming back down, back up. Up. Squeeze at the top, slowly comes back down, and boom. And also, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys check out SodaMuscle.com. These leggings will be on there very soon. I appreciate y'all. Something that is also not in a lot of gyms. This machine here, this is what I'm going to be doing. This is going to be a... I'm a, I call it the split squat. You put your feet in there, raise this up to right behind the back of your knees. This doesn't go up high enough, so it's good enough. But the biggest thing with this is when you come back, you need to push that ass out. It's like you're sitting and back up. Again, this is all off the heels. So come back, push that booty out and back up. When you come back up, squeeze those glutes in. I'm gonna show you, let's go. Let's get it, man, it's that easy. These are fat bells, 35 pounders. Your hands go inside of them. Do these RDLs, these are perfect for you. With the part, down, back up again. Down, boom. And the hamstrings and the glutes. Jim, I'm up. And we're still getting it. What the fuck is your excuse? This is just a PVC pipe, nothing serious, right? This is only gonna keep your balance on this. So you're gonna put this out in front, you're gonna bend on the one leg and go forward. This is only gonna be for balance and that's it. You're not gonna put pressure on it. You're only keeping it so you don't tip over. When you come forward, you're gonna feel that stretch in the hamstring. This is a lot harder than you think. Let's try to do it. And then the same thing on the other side. See how I'm gonna do a balance check for sure. What this does is it works straight all hamstrings when you come forward. Okay. 
Try to do like, try to do like eight to ten of those guys. On, I'm serious, man. It look, it's a lot harder than it looks. Um, it checks your balance, stretches out your hamstrings, does a lot. So there's some of our little bit of a workout. I know you guys don't want to see me doing booty and legs and all that. Y'all want to see my wife. I, hey, I don't fucking blame you. I would too, especially in those new soda muscle leggings, bro. Those are fucking, for anybody that buys them for their wives or girlfriends, I'm sorry, what's going to happen? There's going to be dudes that are going to comment about them. Hey, yo, man, take it, take it in stride. Why? Because you're thinking the same thing. Just another dude saying it, right? It is what it is, man. I, I don't blame, I don't blame people for like, oh, she's got a booty. Hell yeah, she's got a booty. That's Plus, the leggings make it look a lot better. Let's just face that shit right now. Anyways, guys, go to sodamuscle.com. Make sure you guys check it out. Like I said before, I'm going to hit up a lot more guy stuff. It is what it is. Um, we are working together with a company to make more guy stuff. Uh, I am very low on guy stuff just because my vibe and a lot of other dudes' vibes are different, right? So I'm actually gonna go outside my comfort zone and kind of reach out to them and, and, and do a lot more of different things that I personally wouldn't always wear uh, because I am loud, I like loud things, bright stuff, loud stuff, but I'm gonna back it off a little bit this time and see what's going down. So with that, guys, I'm coming to you. 2022 is my goal is to bring in more guys to the company and purchase more of that merch for that. But that is the workout. We're going to go eat and we're going to the Mall of America. So y'all stay tuned to why I'm going to the Mall of America because I got to keep up with the times, man. That's it. I got to keep up with the times. Y'all are going to see why. I'm telling you. Let's go. All right. So we're at the Mall of America and uh, this place is a fucking zoo. Holy crap. But I'm here because I need to get my ear pierced. You know what I mean? Hypey Whitey, he's, uh, he's on top of the game. You know what I mean? I've always wanted to do both ears. I've always had this one done over here, but I want to, I'm going to do them both. I'm going I'm to put some diamonds in them fuckers. This says we're going broke, right? <laughs> we're going broke, so I'm going to put fake ones in now and pretend like they're real. And then we'll go buy some real ones. Because <laughs> we can. I mean, it's just because we can. That's why. So let's go find somewhere that's going to pierce my ears real quick. And uh, I mean, I got to level up, man. Hyphy Whitey, he's, uh, he's passing me right now, so we got to catch up real quick. So let's go get this shit done. I had a sign everything on here so everything is kosher um you know what i mean gotta be legit gotta be gotta be serious now i told you guys i'm coming so i'm gonna go crazy i'm gonna do the 14 karat white gold five millimeter man we're going straight to the solid big nuggets big <laughs> nuggets man i think it was like 86 bucks but shh, we're not gonna tell everybody that these are real now right these are real diamonds real diamonds real diamonds these are real diamonds i'll put them in right away real Stunts. Yeah, real, real ass CZs is what that shit is. <laughs> oh God. Oh, 
Clean my own shit, you know. It's that like COVID type, you know. What I'm saying, what do I do? Just fucking put this shit on. No, that's just hand sanitizer for your hands. Oh. Just rub your hands together. Oh. Cotton ball. You're just gonna squeeze it on top of the earring and behind it. Yeah. Like, clean three times a day, three weeks, front and back. So don't take them out for at least a month. All right. Let me see. I should look good, guys. Comment below. Let me know. I'm about to put big nuggets in these fuckers.